In the news this week, West Yorkshire police pay damages to a Christian street preacher after admitting he had been wrongfully arrested. A third assault on assisted suicide protections is launched in Scotland. And a mum who refused to abort her son because he had Down syndrome shares the joy he's brought to her life. Hello. A Christian street preacher has won damages after he was wrongfully arrested and imprisoned for preaching the gospel. David McConnell had been preaching in Huddersfield Town Centre when passers-by heckled him. They asked him questions about sexuality and abortion, subjects he had not been preaching on, before calling the police. He was subsequently arrested for an alleged hate-related public order offence. Mr McConnell, who was supported in his case by the Christian Institute, was in police custody for about six hours before being released without charge. West Yorkshire Police admitted liability in court papers and agreed to pay over £3,000 in damages plus legal costs. Mr McConnell told the Institute he was thankful the police had admitted what they did was unlawful. It was a very distressing experience for me, but I'm glad I can put it behind me and I'm able to continue to share the good news of Jesus Christ. A fresh attempt has been launched to legalise assisted suicide in Scotland. Liberal Democrat MSP Liam MacArthur has proposed a bill with the support of pro-assisted suicide groups claiming it will contain strong safeguards. But the proposal has been met with fierce opposition. Disabled Labour MSP Pam Duncan Glancy described the bill as dangerous for disabled people and the SNP's disabled members convener Jamie Shumkoviak vowed to fight it with every fibre of his being. Two assisted suicide bills have been defeated in the Scottish Parliament since 2010. Speaking to the Christian Institute, Dr Gordon MacDonald of Care Not Killing warned of the serious dangers with the latest bill. Whilst it's introduced on the basis of autonomy and rights, actually it ultimately gets driven by other factors, saving money, um, people um, who are vulnerable being deemed by other people that their lives are not worth living. And this is a very dangerous development and we really need to not go down this road in Scotland. Using the names God and Jesus Christ blasphemously has been deemed suitable for all by the British Board of Film Classification. New guidance includes them in the list of what may be heard in a U-rated film or TV show. The censor said, We know that some people find these words particularly offensive, but our research shows us that the majority of parents are comfortable with their children hearing them in U-rated films. The Christian Institute's Kieran Kelly said the guidance was a slap in the face for Christians. The BBFC recognises that using these names in an irreverent way is deeply offensive to many people, but is choosing to allow it anyway. And by allowing films containing blasphemy to be shown to even the youngest children, they are desensitising impressionable minds. And finally, a mother in Singapore has shared her unspeakable joy after rejecting her doctor's advice to abort her son because he has Down syndrome. When Ko Su Tin was told there was a very high chance of her baby having the condition, the doctor recommended she abort because of all the challenges her child could face. But she refused, and in a letter to a national newspaper, she said her son Daniel, now three, is thriving and advocated for parents to be put in contact with families who really understand what it means to raise a child with Down syndrome. I shudder to think of how many babies like Daniel were aborted because of the unbalanced information on Down syndrome that doctors often relay to parents. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.